Welcome back. This is Part Time Guardian. The secret to getting prepped for new seasons in Destiny 2 has changed quite a bit. In the past, it was very much about making sure that you could get your power level up as quickly as possible. However, due to changes in how Pinnacle and Hard Cap and Increases between seasons work, and the increased importance of the seasonal artifact, when it, especially when it comes to builds, I'm going to go over what I think is the best new method for getting prepped for the next season. If this video provides value to you, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hop into my Discord. I really appreciate it. So obviously, we're well aware of how seasonal prep used to work. So the biggest thing was prepping for raids and get your power level increased and things like that. However, that has changed quite a bit. Destiny has been changing how their seasonal mechanics work. Now, if you get the pinnacle cap, let's say, in a specific season, well, between seasons, not in a year, but between seasons, the power level only goes up by 10. What this means is, is if you've reached a pinnacle cap for a season, you're automatically at the hard cap for the next season. So really, the only thing you can do to get up higher level is do pinnacles. And again, most of the content that's dropping, even the raids, once you get up to that hard cap, in other words, if you've done pinnacle the season before, you're prepped, you're already ready to go. What's changed now is the importance of the seasonal artifact. So before, it was kind of, it was a nice thing, it was interesting, you got different mods, but now... This is how you get most of your good, at least initial mods, say, for instance, for taking out champions in Nightfalls and other activities. And in addition, you get a, a number of mods that are a significantly energy discount over other mods that you may already have in your inventory. Finally, if you want to do the best builds, like say, like my recent build for PvE Hunter, you're going to need to have mods at the very end of the artifact. So getting to that as quickly as possible is probably the most important thing you can do right now. So again, that changes the dynamics of how you're going to do your prep for the next season. And that's why right now, I'm saying you should start prepping now, not waiting until later in the season. And here's the primary reason why. Getting as much XP as possible is going to be important. In Destiny 2, obviously as you get to the next season, you can do a lot of things, and we'll talk about that in a second, where you can, in that season, level up quickly. But to prep for it, you're going to need bounties that have as much XP as possible. So the new way they're they're setting things up is that the content that you have for the year is going to be the things that are going to have the weekly bounties. So for this year, you can do that through Shohan and Cosmodrome, and you can also do that through Varric. So those you can do. There's only so many of them, but I would go ahead and start getting those and try to hoard those now. After that, as you have seasonal events, not, not the seasonal event that comes with the season because we don't know if those will go into the next season, but as you have things like Trials and Iron Banner that only drop at certain times during the season or on certain days during the week, you'll want to hoard wherever you can the weekly bounties for those because, again, those give you, all of those I mentioned, give you 12,000 experience when you turn them in. Next, you're going to want to get just daily bounties, Okay, and those daily bounties are not from really old content. So don't worry about anything from like Forsaken, anything that's newer that has a daily, not a repeatable, a daily bounty, get all of those and hoard those as quickly as possible. And if you continue to do that, like I said, you start now, you'll have enough time to be able to collect and get the right ones that you really want to maximize your XP gains. Okay, that's how you can prep right now. But then once you get to the next season, what do you do with those bounties? Because again, maximizing those is important because if you do this correctly, you can actually maximize and get to the end of the artifact in the first week, which again, if you're trying to do specific builds, if you're trying to test some of those new mods out, that's the key thing to do. And that's what I'm going to be doing because again, I want to build new seasonal bounty-based builds. And so that's why I want to get to it as quickly as I can without having to kill myself. So as you get into the next season, here's what you'll do with those bounties. And again, you want to be saving those across all three characters, okay? The one key thing is that you don't have to worry about what order you do this because in the past, you want to start on your least favorite character, level it up, get your power level up. You're not caring about that now because XP applies across the board for the artifact. So pick whatever character you want to start with and follow these instructions to get your most benefit out of your playing time. So first off, on a shell, make sure that you have Blinding Light. Now, this is a mod that's on a shell that will get, that will go away for that season, so you'll have to redo it, so just keep that in mind. So you'll have to do this every season. But again, that by itself gives you 12% bonus to all of your XP. Obviously, your first week, and this is account-wide, you get the Well-Rested uh, buff, which gives you 100% extra XP for the first five levels. 
So that's something as we start this initial period you're going to do. But again, it's account level, so you can't do this per character. Then on the seasonal track itself, you actually get XP bonuses depending on how high on the seasonal track. So when you get to level one, you immediately get a 20%, which is good. Then you go to like level seven, level 16, you keep building up on different levels and you get plus two per. I would say this for the for what we're trying to do, you probably are going to want to, before you turn in bounties and everything, at least try on that first character to probably get to level seven. So you get that 22% bonus. If you get to 16, it's great, but you're probably not gonna be able to do that without bounties. So once you have all these things in mind, the one thing you don't wanna do now is just go ahead and turn your bounties in. That's a mistake a lot of people make because again, you're not getting some of the bonuses. So what I would do is the other thing that Bungie put in place are these, these seasonal challenges, right? And we don't know what they're gonna be on this first week, but I would try to get through some of those. And while you're doing that, I would try to get your challenges for the week done. So that's your Crucible, Vanguard, and Gambit because those things give you additional XP for completing that. So that's basically, if you look in the director, those are the seasonal challenges. Get through those while you're also, so those are your weekly challenges, while you're doing that, also get your seasonal challenges done. At this point, you should have gotten north of that level seven in your seasonal track. If you get higher than that, that's great, but that's, I think, probably the minimum. What you're going to do now is try to get into a fire team with other people. Usually I do this in my clan, or you can be in a planet like a public event and just say, hey, I wanna help out and join someone and if they have their seasonal rank ranked up, then the higher you do, you get together, the higher that seasonal rank is, you get additional shared wisdom bonuses. So again, you put these things together and you're gonna get a ton of XP. At that point, while you're in that, that event, whatever you're doing, whatever activity you're in, turn in all of your bounties. And you're just gonna see boom, 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 your seasonal pass go up really quickly. At this point, then, you know, try to get through whatever other activities you can, if you want, depending on how much playtime you have, you'll get through your, your seasonal um, challenges, which again, remember that's account wide. So once you do one character, you're not gonna be able to do another. But if you like, you can go in, get additional daily bounties, things like that, and grind them out, whatever, again, whatever playing time you have. And then after that, you go to your second character and basically repeat the same process, right? Make sure before you turn your bounties that you get into a fire team to get shared wisdom, make sure you have the ghost that has the perks you need to be able to get as much XP as possible, then turn your bounties. Then do that on your third character. And then again, like I said, after that, you can continue to do dailies. You can do repeatables. I said to stay away from those before because you only have so many spots that you can put bounties in before the next season, but you could continue to do repeatables and things like that. If you do all of this, you play your cards correctly, you will get to the end of that seasonal pa pass, which again, then opens up all the mods that you need. Because again, all the great mods this season, from this last season, Breach and Clear, Energy Accelerator, things like that, we're at the very end of the seasonal track. That's why it's really, really important. And that's the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hop into my Discord. Again, I'm trying to make videos to help you part-time Guardians get the most of your playing time in Destiny, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.